Suleiman Nambui became a name that gained the utmost of respect. That's what happens when you become the winningest athlete in NCAA track and field history for your generation. A 15-time NCAA champion at UTEP, Nambui claimed four straight NCAA titles in the 10,000 meters, three consecutive championships in the 5,000, and became the only Division I male to win four straight indoor mile championships, all while leading the minors to a four-year sweep of the outdoor team title. In 1980, he was crowned the NCAA cross country champion after picking up a silver medal at the Summer Olympics in the 5,000 meters. UTEP's Suleiman Nambui is now in the Hall of Fame. Put your hands together for Suleiman Nambui. Come on down. And presenting UTEP head coach Micah Lakasanen. Hey, so I'm going to give you one more race to run. You're going to run cross country, you're going to run a five, a ten, a mile. What do you want to run? Uh, today, I'm just here to, to show the people and to show the, the world that Great America helped a lot of country through the scholarships. Mm -hmm. So that's the very important things, which I'm proud of it. So because uh, NCAs, as I know, it started a long, long time. So it didn't start for only for Americans. It started with many countries, especially poor, poor African country like Tanzania, the other one, they'll be attending a lot of schools. They come to the college, so, and it was my advantage to be in America and earn education and maintain my learning, able to keep my scholarship alive. So that's what I was doing that time when I was in college. Mm -hmm. I was self-disciplined. I'd like to lose my scholarship because I come from, let's say, poor family. So that's why I was doing that job, which I know I was more aged than a young American because at the time I can I was 26. Mm -hmm. And uh, competed with the American kids 18 years, but I was not only a foreigner which I was overaged. I think there were more foreigners which mm -hmm. they were more overaged, but they were focusing more on me because I was winning the race. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so all the eyes was Nyambui, Suleimani, Suleimani, because I was winning, but other colleges, universities, there were more than foreigners than me. So, but I'm happy I did a good job and uh, America made me to go to Olympics in 1980. Otherwise, I should go to get to Olympics. Because I'm proud of America, I'm happy, and uh, uh, always I enjoyed to see Carl Lewis, <laughs> Jack Joy over there. Always I was seeing them in Europe, and over here, always I enjoy very much. Because I remember Carl Lewis was the San Monica Track Club was very powerful in the world. Mm -hmm. So I can see them in Europe where they dominate all the races. So I was so enjoyed. And my first, my first is 1973 when I came, first time when I came from Tanzania going to Europe, I saw the late Profen, uh, Steve Profentain mm -hmm. running near Sinki. So I enjoyed very much. He was my mentor. He was my mentor when I saw him running. He's like he mustang the, the horse. He was running and you see the hair going back there. <laughs> Oh man, I was impressed from there. Then I was thinking that I want to run like Prof, you know, see Profontaine. That's why it's my mind all the time. Mm -hmm. I end up to become, uh, become a good runner. Yes. Well, I can't imagine what it would be like to get a call in Tanzania and say you're going to go to UTEP and to tell your family that you're going to make this broad uh, excursion, this jump, and, and go out and, and make a better life for yourself. But it was a uh, it was a bold and courageous step, and, and the sport is better for it, as you say you are too. And congratulations on your honor here tonight. Thank you very much. So